Hi, my name is Peter Cavacci. I'm a West Australian designer maker. And I'm going to talk to you about this piece of equipment that I bought. It's called a Logosol PS315 dimensioning saw. It's about 2017 and I realised that I needed to re-equip the workshop. Uh, I'm nearly 65. The plant and equipment that I had was very heavy and difficult to move around. So I started looking around for dimensioning saws here in Western Australia. I went to all the retailers, you know, from high end to low end, couldn't really find anything that fitted the bill. Uh, anything with a sliding table was too big for the workshop and uh, I could see problems in that and heavy. Um, I looked at you know, imported Chinese ones, German ones, uh, all sorts of machines. By accident I came across a review on the internet, on YouTube. Um, some quirky little guy wearing overalls like this in Sweden, demoing one of these. So I got in, stress, I got in uh, touch with the Australian distributor uh, over east and had a conversation with him and look, they didn't have any machines here in the country. He offered to bring one in for me, so we did a deal. Uh, the machine shipped direct from Sweden to my workshop. Obviously I had to assemble it, which wasn't a big problem. But I also had to tune the machine and get it running accurately. That took a bit more skill. So you do need the skills of a, a good machine fitter to, to get this thing fully up to spec. Bottom line is, it's beautiful to work with. It's quite accurate. It's not too heavy, about 265, 270 kilos. Came with a great set of casters so I can move it around comfortably. Uh, not risking damaging my back and I've had it for nearly six months now and I've done some quite serious work with it. I'm impressed. Uh, I've had a good experience with the machine. Nothing to complain about. So what I'm going to do is take you through a few of the features that I found really really worth looking at if you're looking to buy a dimensioning saw and you don't want one that's specifically set up as a, paneling, a panel saw. So I'll get on with showing you some of those features now. This handle here, it's actually quite robust. It fits the rise and fall mechanism, so you can adjust the height of the saw up and down. It's got a very durable locking mechanism here, and that works really well. I don't have to bend over it all. Comfortably swaps around and fits onto the adjustment for the saw which allows you to tilt it so again I'm standing comfortably leaning on the machine beautiful accurate accurate and smooth so I found that was a really good feature one handle well made fits both sides absolutely love it the fence for dimensioning and ripping is really solid excellent heavy-duty casting this mechanism is heavy duty and durable, locks on neatly. The bar that goes out allows me to cut about 800, 850 wide, and you can change this depending upon whether you need a tall fence or a low fence. It has a great little vernier system on the bottom here, so you can adjust it left and right by you know, fractions of a millimetre. Well thought out, heavy duty can't fault it. This is that tilting arbor I was talking about. So I'm standing up at waist height using that lever I showed you. Look how beautiful and smooth and quiet that is. Well, and then at the same time I can move that lever around onto the rise and fall mechanism and I can adjust that up and down. Okay, so there you have it. My little uh, thoughts on the Logosol PS315 dimensioning saw. This was that West Australian hardwood I was running through. You can see it's quite heavy. Um, I suppose, look, the question we've got to ask ourselves here in Australia is, why has it taken so long to see these kinds of machines in the country? Um, I'll leave that up to you to answer. 
But I'm very pleased with the machine and I'm looking forward to many years of work with it.